Hey everybody, welcome back to Brainiac Baseball's 1980 Detroit Tigers season replay. Today's matchup is between the Detroit Tigers and the Chicago White Sox at Comiskey Park. On the mound for Detroit is Dave Rosma, whose record is 13-10 and 10 with a 4.72 ERA. And pitching for the White Sox is Ken Kravik, whose record is 11 and 13 with a 4.07 ERA. And so we won big yesterday, 10 to 6 against the White Sox. Scored 10 runs, didn't hit any home runs, but uh, we did string a lot of uh, hits together. And uh, Milt Wilcox pitched just good enough to get the win. And so, although the, the season is over, uh, we're still trying to get a lot of the, um, the uh, September call-ups into the lineup. And I thought I would take a moment, although we haven't done, we will probably do a, a leaders uh, segment after the season is over. I thought it'd be kind of neat to take a moment to see uh, who's in line to win the categories. And it looks like Sixto Lescano has the batting average uh, category one. And it's yet to be de determined here in the American League home runs category as uh, Doug DeSensei has the lead with uh, Fred Lynn, Daryl Porter, Dwight Evans on Kansas City, and Oscar Gamble all in the hunt. The uh, earned run average leaders, uh, Ron Guidry will not win this category. If you take a look, he is currently injured and he will not get to the 162 innings needed in order to win uh, the ERA title. So it could go to Bruce Keeson, the all-star. Uh, if not, then maybe one of these other uh, players, a Floyd or a Dennis or a Dennis might make it, or that son of a bitch, Frank Tanana, could make it in there. Look at this. That son of a bitch, Frank Tanana, is leading at night with 19 wins. Uh, Jim Bibby will not be in there because he's out for the rest of the year, and uh, Jack Morris is horrible. So uh, let's take a look here. Let's go ahead and get started with today's matchup. Uh, as always, I appreciate everyone following along. The season is over, but it's still fun to uh, get the youngsters into the lineup. Uh, so continue to follow along, uh, and uh, we'll see if we can't keep you entertained for the last seven games of the season. Uh, there's Dave Rosma pitching today. All of the bullpen is available. The lineup against the lefty, Ken Kravik. We've mixed it up. A skosh. Uh, Trammell is tired, so I took him out. And we got Mark Wagner in there. We put Marty Castillo in at third base. We have Tony Armis at center field. Bob Baylor is going to be in right for our team MVP, Gary Hancock. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much what's going to happen here today. And we're going to go into a little bit more depth here when we do the lineup rundown. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, here is Sweet Lou Whitaker. Batting leadoff, playing second base. Batting second and in right field is Bob Baylor. Batting third and DHing is Carlton Fisk. Batting cleanup and in left field is Steve Kemp. Batting fifth and catching is Lance Parrish. Batting sixth and playing first base is Jason Thompson. Batting seventh and in center field is Tony Armis. Batting eighth and at third base is Marty Castillo. And batting ninth and at shortstop is Mark Wagner. On the mound for the Sox is Ken Kravik. 
34th start. He's 11 and 13, 4.07 ERA. He is the team ace as he's pitched uh, 225 innings and he has walked 118 batters. That's one every other inning. 12 wild pitches, three complete games, and a shutout. So let's see how Sweet Lou does against Whitaker. And uh, hopefully we can sweep the Sox as Whitaker flies out to right field. Rusty Coots makes the catch, just one down. Next up is Bob Baylor betting 331 versus lefties. Ground ball to first base, and Mike Squires boots it. Baylor safe at first. They'll try to steal second base with Baylor. Mar Foley, good defensive uh, catcher, and he throws out Baylor, who leads our team in stolen bases, but he also leads the team in caught stealing. And Fisk strikes out looking. Go to the bottom half of the first. No score. Here's the lineup for the White Sox. Batting leadoff, playing third base, is Joe Gates. Batting second and playing first base is Mike Squires. Batting third and playing center field is Chet Lemon. Batting cleanup and catching is Marv Foley. Batting fifth and playing left field is Ron Pruitt. Batting sixth and playing right field is Rusty Coots. Batting seventh and DHing is Henry Cruz. Batting eighth and playing second base is Jerry Hairston. And batting ninth and in uh, shortstop is Fran Mullins. Dave Rosma taking the mound today for the Tigers. Career high, 30th start. He is 13 and 10 with a 4.72 ERA. Opponents are batting 287 against him. He does not walk people. He does not strike out people. No complete games. And uh, we are hoping for six or seven innings from Rosma today. Joe Gates leading off. And he gets a base hit to left field. First hit of the game. And uh, Joe Gates, speedy guy. 45 stolen bases on the year. Mike Squires up next. And Gates steals second base. We are going to pull the infield in. As uh, Mike Squires has uh, no power, no home runs. For a first baseman. And Squires is a ground ball to second. And Whitaker goes to first. It's the only play as Gates takes uh, third base. And here is Chet Lemon, who had the day off yesterday, as Bob Molinaro played center field. And Lemon hits the ball to the only base you can't hit it to, third base. Castillo makes the play. Uh, keeping Gates at third. That brings up Mar Foley, who walks. So, first and third for Ron Pruitt. One for four with a walk. He's had a couple home runs against us. And he shoots it to center field all the way to the wall. That's a bases clearing double for Pruitt. It's two to nothing, White Sox. And that will bring up Rusty Kuntz. Who hits a ground ball to Wagner at short. And that ends the inning. We go to the top of the second. White Sox take the early lead. Two to nothing. Steve Kemp leads off. Pretty solid left-handed hitter against lefties. He hits it to the left center field gap. And that gets to the wall for a double. So runner... In scoring position for Lance Parrish, does not have a hit against Kravik. And he hits it to third base. And there's one out. Next up is Jason Thompson. 
Thompson pulls the ball into right field for a base hit. And do we want to send him? I'm going to say no. But uh, good job by Thompson getting a base hit versus a lefty. We're going to hit and run against Kravik and hope that uh, Tony Armas makes contact. Oh, no. Oh, well, he strikes out. Thompson steals second base, the slowest base runner on the team. That is his second stolen base somehow. He has not been caught stealing. So good job by JT. It's going to be up to uh, Marty Castillo to get some runs dr uh, driven in. And he does not. As he hits the ground ball to second. Harrison makes the play. We go to the bottom of the second inning. 2 nothing, Chicago. Henry Cruz leads off by hitting a single to right field. Runner on first for Jerry Harrison. And uh, Roswell walks Harrison. Not a guy who throws a lot of base on balls. So first and second, nobody out. Strikes out the number nine hitter, Fran Mullins. We roll the lineup over to Joe Gates. Started off the game with a base hit. He strikes out back-to-back -back K's for Rosma. Going to pull the outfield in for Mike Squires. And he strikes out the side. Wow. Great job by Rosma bouncing back. And we go to the top of the third. Mark Wagner leading off. And, oh my God, did he hit a home run to center field? Oh, <laughs> come on! That ball was gone. 437 feet, but not far enough. And then <laughs> Whitaker can't take the bat off his shoulder. Three Ks for Kravik. Next up is uh, Baylor. Hey, there's a base hit to center field. Uh, do we run on Chet Lemon? I'm going to say yes. Yes, there we go. A double for Baylor. He's two for two on the day. And that will bring up Carlton Fisk. He does hit lefties well. Base hit in the center field, and Baylor scores. RBI single for Fisk, who um, has been terrible this year. And uh, I'm only playing him against lefties now and uh, wow Kemp strikes out and we go to the bottom of the third two to one Chet Lemon leading off the bottom of the third he hits a lazy fly ball to center field caught by Armis as one down next up is Mar Foley Foley hits a ground ball to Wagner. Two down. That brings up Ron Pruitt. Ground ball to Whitaker. And a 1-2-3 inning for uh, Dave Rosma. Much needed. We go to the top of the fourth. And Parrish strikes out. He is really struggling down the stretch. Only has 14 home runs. One down, and JT steps in and clobbers it to center field. 443 feet. 20th home run on the year for JT. The second Tiger to reach 20 home runs in a year in which the league leader has uh, 26. Tony Armas hits a long fly ball to center field. Caught by Chester Lemon. Two down. Marty Castillo hits a ground ball to short. Tigers tie it up at two. We go to the bottom of the fourth. Rusty Koontz leads off. He's got a home run against Rosma this year. That's a fly ball to right field. Baylor makes the catch. One down. 
Henry Cruz gets a base hit into center field. Runner on first for the switch hitter, Jerry Harrison. Batting lefty, only 245 versus righties. Ground ball squeaks past Mark Wagner at short. And now it's first and second with only one out. Number nine hitter Fran Mullins batting 171 versus righties. And he shoots it right at Whitaker. Turn two? No. I was hoping they'd catch uh, Cruz napping. But that did not happen. So we're going to pull the outfield in against uh, Joe Gates. First and second. Two outs, and Gates hits a long fly ball to center field. Caught at the warning track by Armas. So we go to the top of the fifth. Two all. Mark Wagner, number nine hitter, hits a ground ball to third. Joe Gates boots it. And we've got a runner on base. Let's hit and run with Whitaker. Struggles against uh, Ken Kravick, as uh, most lefties do. Hey, there's a base hit to left field. Can Wagner make third? He does. First and third, nobody out. And now we've got a guy who really hits lefties well. Batting 333. He's got an 89 rating for contact. And he hits a ground ball to short. Wagner scores. The only place to first base is 3-2 to two Detroit. We have a run in three consecutive innings. And a chance for Fisk, who has an RBI, to drive in the fourth run. Oh, no. Oh, no. A line drive to second base, and Whitaker is doubled off with the double play. We go to the bottom of the fifth. And Mike Squires will lead off three for eight against Rosma. Oh, ground ball just past Whitaker for a base hit. Six hits for the Sox against uh, Dave Rosma. Next up is Chet Lemon. Line drive to center field. Caught by Armis. That's one down. That'll bring up Mar Foley, lefty betting 307. And a ground ball into center field. Rosma officially listed as tired. I think we have to make an effort to get him through the inning. So we're going to guard the Lions against Ron Pruitt. And he strikes him out. Wow. Four Ks for Rosma. Again, not a strikeout pitcher, but that's pretty good. Four Ks in less than five innings. That brings up Rusty Kuntz, who hits a ground ball to Whitaker. And that is the third out. We go to the sixth. 3-2 Detroit. That'll be the last inning for uh, Dave Rosma. As Kemp hits a ground ball right back to Kravik. One down. Next up is Parrish, 0 for 5 with a strikeout against Kravik this year. Hey, there's a base hit to left field. Pruitt gets it back in. That is the first hit for Parrish today. So that brings up JT, who um, hits into a lot of double plays. Got to give him a chance to swing away as a ground ball right to short. Taylor made, and that ends the inning. Damn it. So we're going to pull out, uh, I mean, we're going to take out uh, Dave Rosma. And um, Cruz is a lefty. And then Harrison hits worse against righties. So we're going to let Rucker pitch to Cruz. So there, there we go. 220 batting average against lefties. And Cruz pops it up on the infield. Wagner makes the catch. So we're going to take out uh, Wagner. 
We're going to bring, I mean Wagner, we're going to take out Rucker. I'm going to bring in Weaver. And uh, Weaver, been with us all the way through the season. Facing uh, Jerry Hairston, 0 for 1, 2 walks. That one out was a K. And he hits a fly ball in the center field. A uh, falls in. And there's a hit for Hairston. So one down. Fran Mullins strikes out. And now we've got a couple of lefties. So that means uh, Dan Schatzader almost had 100 innings pitched. That'll be a, somewhat of a milestone. If he can get it out, and he does. Joe Gates strikes out. We go to the seventh. 3 2 Detroit. Tony Armas. It's a fly ball to left field. Oh, we need to switch it over to the in-game stats. My bad. Armas 0 for 3. Next up is Marty Castillo. Shoots it to right. Maybe a home run. Oh, a double off the wall. I thought it was gone. Great job by Castillo. So runner in scoring position for Mark Wagner. Only batting 239 versus lefties. That's a surprise. He shoots it right at the first baseman. That's the second out. Castillo takes third. And Whitaker has a chance here to drive in a run. And he does with a base hit to center field. And it's 4-2. to two. That is all for Ken Kravick. As they're bringing in Dewey. Dewey. 5-7-3-8-6 ERA. Opponents are batting 231. He was a closer briefly. And now he's a setup man. Um, let's take out Bob Baylor. And we're going to bring in Dan Gonzalez. Give him a chance to play right field. And right at the second baseman, Jerry Harrison. And that's the third out. We're going to leave uh, Dan Gonzalez in right field. Not a great defensively. But we have a two-run lead. See how that plays out with Mike Squire striking out. Great job by Shotzi. Uh, two Ks there. We're going to bring in the righty, Bob Stanley. Bob Stanley. Not great. Lemons one for one against him. Uh, two for two. As he gets a base hit just past Wagner. That's all you need to know about that. Let's just uh, bring in Keith Comstock to face Mar Foley. Under 200 against lefties. Right at the third baseman. Castillo does not double off Lemon. I'm going to give Comstock one shot to get Pruitt which is a huge risk, I realize. Oh, Lemon steals second base. So we're going to intentionally walk Pruitt at this point. And that'll be it for Comstock to bring in the righty. Dan Petrie, also known as Peaches. So he's going to face Rusty Koontz, 217 hitter. Against right, he's 0 for 3 against Peaches, and he walks him. You son of a bitch. So we're going to bring in the lefty, Bruce Robbins. He's our number 5 starter. He is supposed to face... Uh, oh, we got a day off tomorrow. Hmm. Yeah, let's bring him in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Bruce Robbins will face Henry Cruz with the bases loaded. Uh, tying run at second base. He got... Oh, no! I thought he had him on a strike three. And he knocks in two runs. 
That sucks. Game is all tied. We're going to let him face uh, Jerry Harrison. There's a go-ahead run right there. Oh, and an error. Just to rub it in. As uh, Kemp cannot make the play. Oh, man. Five to four. And an error! I thought that was the end of the inning. This is not fair. Come on. Six to four. Bruce Robbins. That was a good call on my part as it... Joe Gates gets another hit. And it's eight to four. Oh, man. All unearned runs. Oh, there you go. Squires back to Robbins. Okay. So, uh... We go to the eighth. We're down by four. I mean, that could not have gone any worse. We're going to take out Fisk, who never really should have been in the game. And we're going to bring in Gary Hancock. 323 versus righties. Pops it up onto the outfield grass at short. Mullins makes the catch. Steve Kemp hits a fly ball left field. And Parrish walks. That'll give JT a shot. He grounds out to third. We did everything that we could. And it doesn't matter. As so we're going to let... We brought um, Robbins into the game. We've got to let him pitch. Because he's not going to start... In two days. Strikes out Foley. Ron Pruitt hits a fly ball to right field. There's two down. Lemon gets thrown out by Bob Baylor. Oh, no, wait. That wasn't Bob Baylor. That was uh, the right fielder, Dan Gonzalez. We go to the ninth, and uh, I can't let Tony Armas hit. We're going to bring in uh, Gibby. So Gibby is going to swing away here in the ninth inning. Down 8-4. to four. Grounds out to Squires at first. Next up is Marty Castillo. Ground ball to second. And Mark Wagner. That could not have gone any worse. Tigers lose 8-4. to four. We have a day off tomorrow. Let's take a look here at the standings and see if the Sox are still in it. Oh, there's a National League. We'll come back to them in. Uh, no, Sox are eliminated with the victory by the Angels. So it's down to only California and Texas, who we finish up against uh, the Rangers. So we could still play a part in being a spoiler. National League, a uh, Los Angeles, one and a half back of Houston. And Philadelphia, four game winning streak that brings them two games within uh, of Montreal. So let's take a look at the trannies. Nothing going on here. We're going to pull up the box score. We will get out of here. We're 9-11 and 11 in September. That is why we're losing. We are 20 games above 500. I feel pretty good about that, but uh, we've fallen out of it. JT gets his 20th home run. Good job by him. And a stolen base. As uh, Baylor gets his 19th double, Kemp 22, Marty Castillo shows up. Petrie. Gets the hard luck loss. He's one in four. Bruce Robbins, not really his fault. And Dewey Robinson in relief. Six and seven on the year. So, uh, player of the game, we're going to give it to JT, of course. Get a home run, you get a home run. Uh, get a home run, get a stolen base. And uh, that's all you really need to do to get the MVP of the game. We have a day off, and then we'll be coming back against the Seattle Mariners at home. Until then, everyone, have a great night.